Watch, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing. It's your boy, Big Baby Miller here. Listen, we're knocking on all bums. First, it's going to be Dylan White. If it's going to be Joseph Parker. But you know who got the story right? Mr. Boxing today. You check him out. He got all the latest news on the heavyweight division. And if you don't know me, you soon will. Because I'm kicking everybody. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man. So, F.A. Jagba will be in action tomorrow. To me, man, this right here, this fight against Curtis Harper, this is going to be his toughest uh fight to date in my opinion a jag was still early in his career he's five and oh it'd be his third fight this year curtis harper a lot of you guys remember his fight in 2015 that he had with chris Ariola. both guys were severely out of shape for that fight but it was a war very entertaining fight man uh, if you want to see just a quick slug fest real quick go watch that curtis harper versus chris Ariola. for those of you that don't remember that fight or for those of you that haven't seen the fight all right curtis harper in my opinion man can be tough for anybody um, now Ariel was also out of shape for that fight. Both guys were damn near close to 270 pounds for that fight. All right. Uh, Curtis Harper, he's been in there with Gerald Washington, Donovan Dennis, Gili Zhang, Ariola, uh, Joshua Tufty, Jamal Woods, guys like that. Um, this, it'd be his first fight this year, 2016. He was off. Um, and then 2017, he had the two fights. The one against Zhili Zhang, I was very, uh, you know, I was anticipating that fight. thought it was very intriguing. He came and he was in excellent shape for that fight. He was 244 pounds. He was 265 against Chris Seriola. So I let you know that Curtis Harper was taking that fight very seriously. He had uh, uh, Nate Campbell was in his corner for that fight, but he got stopped in the first round. He got caught with a straight left hand he did not see coming. He got buzzed. He couldn't recover. And then Zhili Zhang hit him with a right, I believe it was a right hook that caught him, put him down. He got up. But he was stumbling all over the place, and then the ref stopped the fight. Then he took another fight a few months later in 2017 against the journeyman, Andrew Greeley, and he won that fight. He was 252 pounds for that fight. All right, but whether he's 244 or 264, he will come to fight. Uh, but the thing is, he's going against somebody that has devastating power. Now, albeit against uh, limited opposition as a pro, F.A. Jagger was Olympian. He's only 24 years old. Devastating power, man. He's working with Ronnie Shield down there in, uh, I believe they're working out down there in H-Town at the Plex Gym. I mean, devastating power. The, the right hand is the first thing that pops out to me. Uh, that right hand is just dynamite, man. You go watch his highlight package. You go watch all his fights are on YouTube, and he's putting some hurt with that right hand. So what I'm thinking is, can Curtis Harper get inside the reach and try to make it a mid-range fight. Is that, is that something he wants to do? A jab, but does have a nice left hook to the body. But Curtis Harper sitting on the outside, trying to take a chance and get clipped with a right hand. I think that uh, I'm not sure that'd be the right game plan. Uh, the fight with Zhili Zhang, all, although he got caught in the first round, he was trying to move around. He was trying to work his jab. He's an aggressive fighter by nature. So even if he is on the outside, he wants to jab and get close and throw his hands. You know what I mean? So he's going to come forward no matter if he does circle a little bit, try to use his jab. He wants to be aggressive. He wants to come forward. But the thing is, the Jagba has a devastating right hand, like I said. Uh, Curtis Harper cannot back up in straight lines, and he needs to stay off the ropes. Backing up in straight lines, it's almost like you're asking to get hit with a right hand from a Jagba. Um, can he push a Jagba backwards? Can he get his respect and push him backwards and see what type of fighter he is going back? Or when he's pressured or when you... Uh, put him in a clinch and work his body and can he muscle him around on the inside i guess we'll see how this works out but um if i had to put my money on it i'm going with a jagba by knockout but i do think it will be interesting though it's gonna be entertaining curtis harper does come to fight it's gonna be you know it'll be fun while it lasts especially if he goes in there and it's the same curtis harper that uh we always pretty much see whether he wins or loses the thing is though he hasn't been in the ring in the year but the last time he did this, when he wasn't in the ring for like a year, he came in in the best, pretty much the best shape of his career against Zhang, but he lost in the first round. All right. So Curtis Harper, I hope he comes in between 245, no more than 250 to give his uh, self the best chance to win this fight. But I'm going to Jagba, man. I'm going with a Jagba. I can't wait for this fight to be uploaded on the YouTube. I believe it's going to, uh, this card is on Fox Sports. Uh, it is in my neck of the woods, but I won't be able to make this card. Um, yeah, man, a Jagba versus Curtis Harper going down tomorrow. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm gone.